Right, let's ruin any chance we'll ever get of a knighthood. Are you allowed to knight people from the colonies? I think so. Yeah? Oh no, you definitely are. I just don't think I would be one of them. I think you'd make Mm. a great knight of the realm. Knight of the realm. Oh my god, I'd love to be of a realm. (laughs) Hello! Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Welcome to a thread talk. I'm Imogen. I'm Elliot. And today, what are we talking about? Today we're talking about the monarchy. The English monarchy, Mm. as there are numerous, but this is English, because we're in England, aren't we? Right now, we're in London. We are. Lovely, rainy London. I know, it's horrible. I mean, London in general is not horrible. I love London, but God, the weather's sh**. Why are we talking about this right now, Elliot? We're talking about this right now because it's all over the newspapers. Mm -hmm. Harry and Meghan stepping down from being senior royals. Okay. So what does that mean, being a senior royal? A senior royal is a royal who is in the direct line of succession. So you've got the Queen, you've got her husband yep. Philip, mm-hmm. uh, their eldest son Charles, and then his children. And so all of her other kids, like Andrew and like Princess Beatrice and all, everything, they're not senior royals. No. So they have regular jobs, don't they? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Are, you a, are you a royalist? You know? am, I, am I a royalist? A monarchist? Um... A monarchist, uh, a fan. Well, so growing up in Australia, that has meant something quite different to me than it does to people in the UK. It, it's far less part of our national identity being connected to the royal family. And to be honest, becoming a republic and drawing away from all those things generally is considered more of a hassle than it's worth. I mean, having to change all of our currency, yeah, it's just a little bit of a, you know, Australians are quite lazy. And also, <laughs> with the Commonwealth Games, I mean, we're too small to really do well in the Olympics, but at the Commonwealth Games, we clean up. So a lot of people would be quite unwilling to to give that up. Mm. People in Australia do get quite into it. Like when, yeah. I remember I was in Australia when um, William and Kay got married and people, people were into it, man. Yeah. Well. Yeah, any excuse for a party. How about you, Elliot? Are you a, are you a queen man? Are you a queen, are you a big Am old I a queen? Queens man? <laughs> You're a queensman? <laughs> I do love the queen. I, uh, I love the band. I love the music. Um, Elliot. Hello. Are you a monarchist? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I am actually. I, I really enjoy the monarchy from like a historical standpoint um, and I okay. like that that history is ongoing and it's it's still going it still exists okay um, all right it's living history they are living history yeah that's kind of nice actually yeah I buy that you hear a lot of complaints about the royal family saying that you know our taxes go towards funding their luxurious lifestyle and they're, oh, sorry they're like they are luxurious I mean they do houses, live like... a luxurious <sighs> lifestyle do you know how they make their money um taxes taxes Kind of. Going back way in time, pre 1760, mm-hmm. the royal family made their money from their land. You know, ah. they were landholders. Okay. They made money from their land. But then came along silly old King George the uh, Third, King Hello. George the Mad, who famously uh, lost the American colonies, mm-hmm. and he he was very heavily in debt. I feel like I'm telling a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, King there George, was a king yes. named George. And he was he, very sad. He was very sad because yes. he had so many debts. And mental illnesses. He did, actually. Yeah. yeah. Including one That's that... That's not funny, actually. <laughs> one that turned his um, poo purple. I have heard that, you yeah. Know. yeah. We don't know what it's called now, but we'll put it up on the screen. Yeah. And he came up with quite a clever idea. Okay. In order to get all his debts erased, um, he made a deal with Parliament where okay. they would receive all the profits from his land. So all the profits from the Crown Estate. Crown Estate. The Crown Estate would go straight to the House of Commons in return for all his debts being erased and him receiving a annual salary. Right. Much. Him and his successors or? Yeah, well, he took that deal and then every monarch afterwards sort of took up the deal as well. Right, okay. So they were, this, it was like a symbolic. Yeah. And this was right. called the civil list. So they received a civil, civil list. Civil list. Yeah. That's sort of how it went up until uh, 2012, actually. They reviewed it in 2011, and it was decided that in to make it sort of a bit more direct, mm-hmm. they would take all the profits from the Crown Estate, and the monarchy would receive 15% of that. Is that, is that the only money they get from the government? Yeah. Right. So that's not actually technically coming out of our tax. Well, I suppose if, if we had that money as a society, we'd have to pay slightly less tax, but... If that money was originally theirs and they're only getting 15% of it, I don't really see how we're getting a raw deal in the first place. We are not. They're actually getting a very good deal. Yeah. We make a lot of money off those lands. And if we ever decided to become a republic and kick the monarchy out, they are fully within their rights to take that land back and our taxes would actually go up. So people have been saying like the queen is receiving more and more money. That's mm. only because the profits from the crown estate have been going up. So therefore that 15% has been going up. Right. And in 2016 it was agreed that it would go up from 15% to 25% but 
so that they could renovate Buckingham Palace. And but the, that extra percentage, all that money goes straight into renovating Buckingham Palace. And wait, is that now annual? So now every year it's from 25, not 15. I think that's. Was that's, that just that one year? No, no, no. That's up until I think 2021, or a certain date where it's been decided that it will go back down to 15 okay. percent once the renovations have yeah, been. Yeah, 25 completed. seems a bit steep. Actually. It does, yeah. yeah. It's a well. I mean, it's their money, but it's. Yeah, but it hasn't been for years. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like finders keepers or whatever. <laughs> And this, of course, isn't taking into account all the money that they bring into this country from tourism. I mean, I think it's something like two billion pounds. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Two billion pounds. Mm. Every every mug with the Queen's face on it, every... You know, there's a reason that tourists come here and visit our castles mm. as opposed to castles in Europe, is because ours are still used. There's actually a Queen in there. There's, yeah. a, there's a guard guarding it, there's a Queen, yeah. you know. Oh. Her, her symbol is... Yeah. Everywhere. It's on every post box. That's very true. Yeah. And so that and yeah, we've had two royal weddings in the last couple of years and yeah. my god, people flocked. Flocked. So for people saying that the monarchy is taking our money, it is very, very much the opposite. Yeah. They, big, big part of our identity, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So the question is then, if Harry and Meghan are stepping down as senior royals, if you look at it as sort of like a job. Mm -hmm. with an income, yeah. they should be receiving less. Yeah, they should definitely be receiving less, surely. Yeah. And they are going to be, aren't they? I think so, yeah. yeah. Well, from that, from the um, sovereign grant. Right, but they will still be receiving their sort of money from their parents, right? Like trust fund kids, basically. Yeah. Which, you know, in, in this age of poverty is like morally questionable, but no more so than every other member of the 1%, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Probably a big part of the reason they are stepping down is because Meghan did just get such a raw deal from the media. I mean, at the end of the day, she thought she was stepping into a similar kind of role that Kate Middleton was stepping into, and she hasn't. She's stepped into a role where she's faced far more harsh criticism and really negative media attention, and everyone's been really focusing on the fact that she's from America and her relationship with her dad, and she's just been completely bollocked, really. Yeah. So, I mean, like, she gave it a red hot go, and you can't really blame her for just being like, you know what, f*** this. And also, from Harry's standpoint as well, this is a role he was born into. Yeah, He didn't ask true. to be a royal. I think he's fully within his rights yeah. to take a moment, now that he's married and yeah. got a family, to think about what he wants. I agree. I mean, I, I think it is a shame that they're not going to be... F given what we said, that the royal family does bring in so much revenue, it is a shame they're not going to be feeding that revenue machine. But in, in exchange, I think they should probably, you know get jobs and stop taking the money. So provided yeah. that they do do that, actually start contributing to the economy in other ways, then then I think it's totally justified. I do think in a way though, it is a bit of a shame because mm. at the end of the day, someone who is mixed race and from another country coming into the royal family was meant to diversify it and be this like symbol of unity, you know, the symbol of globalization and the royal family opening its doors and now they're sort of breaking off. It, they've kind of rendered themselves yeah. more of a symbol of division. Yeah, you know which I mean. is very disappointing. Yeah, but I, I mean, think. also like, it's not really her fault. It, it's a shame, but you also can't put that moral burden on just one person. And in fact, the, the moral burden of making them feel like a unified part of the royal family was probably more put on the British public and the media, which which we failed in. I we? think, yeah, yeah, we let them down. Yeah. <laughs> That's really sad. Yeah. <laughs> we let you down. But, I mean, Harry and Meghan, if you're watching this. <laughs> we're so sorry, guys. We're we love so you. Sorry. Uh, we're sorry. I really liked Suits. I thought your character was great. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen it, but... It's uh, late, latter seasons. I might watch it after what Imogen said earlier, though. Because obviously Megan is an actress, right? So is she going to like go back to acting? How weird would that be? Just seeing the, I the think... princess just waltzing around <laughs> in her underwear and suits again. You know, it's very strange. <laughs> yeah, I think... Sorry. Um... Uh, we should we'll Google it when we get back. Um... The, the whole idea of the monarchy tends to fall apart a little bit when you get figures such as Prince Andrew and yeah. the controversy surrounding yeah. him recently. Mm -hmm. And I mean, historically, the monarchy represented divine right. You know, they, they were gods chosen mm -hmm. to rule over mm -hmm. England. And then as times moved on, they've, they've become a symbol but now it's like, we're questioning that symbol. Yeah, and I mean, we're just much closer to them and their lives as people now, aren't we? Ever since yeah. uh, Queen Elizabeth let cameras into her coronation, the royal family, just because of technology, has been so much more accessible to oh, us yeah. rather than just being some, you know, concept off on a hill. Um, and I think, in a way, they probably do work best as a concept. The more yeah. we get to know them and the more we get to know their flaws as people, uh, the more, you're right, like they... 
yeah. they do work less as a symbol. Flawed is a very, very generous term for Prince Andrew. The fact that he's a royal mm. has nothing to do with, like, he needs to be treated... As a pedophile. As a pedophile. Well, yep. uh, an alleged pedophile that should be tried and possibly convicted if it, the allegations turn out to be true, which he should be put on trial for. You should know that you're a symbol, and if you don't want to accept that role of symbolism yep. in exchange for, you know, all the riches the monarchy does offer you, then you should abdicate, and you should have that option yes. to step down, as Harry and Meghan have done, but he did step down, he still took all the benefits, and instead of being, you know, an upstanding citizen, which is like the least you can do really as a royal who is a symbol, how many times have I said symbol? When it comes to questioning whether we should still have a monarchy in this day and age, mm. I, I still lean towards yes, but I think, you know, they do need to be, they need to be upheld to the same yeah. standards as everyone else. Yeah, Prince Andrew made the decision not to uphold those values and isn't being treated the same as everyone else. He is being given leniency because he is a member of the royal family and you can just see that privilege oozing through in his interview oh, at Newsnight, right. like, my god. <laughs> nice choice you know? of word there, oozing. Oozing. There should be royals, but as long as they're not dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was brilliant. I couldn't have put it better myself. Yeah, I was, I was literally gonna ask you, do you think there's still a place for a monarchy? Yeah, they should just, from birth, they should be like, look, you know, you're gonna get all this money and it's gonna be like difficult, you're gonna be scrutinized by the media. So if you wanna do this, yeah, be cool. If you don't, see you later. That's chill, bye. Yeah, I think if we look at it like, they've got this money, that's a salary, they have a job to do, they put on dinners, they do public speaking, charity work, all of this. If that's their job, this is what we pay them. That's the system. Do your job. Do your job. Everyone else does. Yeah. And Do you your know. job. Unless you're Harry and Meghan. In which case, fair enough, we're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're giving a little bit of mixed messages, but they, they're, they're actively trying to say that we don't want this job yeah, anymore. Yeah, they're gonna and get another so... job. Gonna go to your local m and and Harry's gonna ring up your meal deal. Yeah. Mm. It's time for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, let us know what you think down below. Do you think there's still a place for a monarchy in this day and age? Are yeah. you a monarchist? Are you a monarchist? And what do you think about Harry and Meghan? Are you sad that they're... Stepping down. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know. Um, yeah, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Check us out on all the other social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and all that. Um, yeah, and watch this space for more videos yeah. like this. Yeah. So we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Cool. All right. Hello. We're doing a Fred right. talk. Let's. <laughs> We're doing it. Don't try and stop us. We're gonna do it right don't, now. Don't, don't you? Yeah. I think. Uh. By the way, I think you were right about the man spreading because I've had to sew these jeans back together many <laughs> times and like in. Enough about my crotch. You heard it here first, people. Um, There's never enough. <laughs>